Looking for an easy way to fold your cards nice and even? <laughs> Keep watching! Hi, I'm Amy England from Scrap This, Save That, and I'm going to show you how to get a great fold and crease every time. So here is my magic tool, my, my secret weapon, if you will. This is a bone folder, but this is a Teflon bone folder. Different than the regular plastic ones. This one's a lot thicker and a lot smoother. This Teflon bone folder is awesome because it makes it so that you don't get those shiny, horrible lines that you get with most bone folders. And it's just super, super smooth and just glides right along. So there you go. Then you have this nice, sharp, sharp crease. So that is trick number one. Trick number two, if you have one or have the money to invest in one, is a scoreboard. They have big ones. They have little ones. This is an old Martha Stewart scoreboard that I have. It's a 12 by 12, so you can fit a whole entire sheet of scrapbook paper on it, and the measurements go just a little bit beyond 12 inches. So I love this because if I want to do a large piece of paper and do some really cool folding and to make some sort of a, a project, I can do a lot more than simply just folding for cards. But basically, same thing. So I have my, my piece of paper that I've cut in half, uh, it's cut to eight and a half inches by five and a half inches. Yes, <laughs> five and a half inches. I just butt it right up here against the corner and then I'm going to fold in half. So a half of eight and a half inches is four and a quarter inches. I find the four and a quarter mark. Uh oh, I score straight down. And then you always want to take and instead of folding it the way you think you would, you want to turn it over and fold it that way. So then once again, you go ahead and do your crease and you have a perfect card folded every time. So here is another size piece of paper. This is once again, started out as an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. It was cut long ways. And so here is 11 inches. If we're going to turn it into a card, half of that's gonna be five and a half inches. So we just score a five and a half, turn it over, fold it super simple, and then do our little bit of creasing. And you have a perfectly folded card base, ready to put all kinds of cool, fun things on top of, or stamp on top of, whatever you wanna do. If you wanna see more tips and tricks like this, please subscribe to my channel, or you can click this playlist on the screen right now to see lots of other two minute videos. Thanks, bye.